We're going to look at the master page feature of the Blocks plugin in this tutorial. And to start with, I've just added a basic Blocks page to my project. And we are going to go into the Block Inspector and make some adjustments to the, the content width here and the height. So I'm going to open up the Block Inspector to the Page tab. And we've got Content Width and Height Options. I'm going to set the width to 800 pixels and the height to 500 pixels. And so we have um, some custom settings done for our blocks content. And now I want to add some blocks and content to the page. So I'm going to select the text block, drag that up to the corner here. I'm going to get a blinking cursor in the block, and I'm going to open up my snippets and grab some dummy text out. Drop in this lower mipsum here. And I'm going to copy this block, create a second block, um, position it kind of down here in the corner, and I'll take a little bit of this text out just to make it a little bit different. So we've got two blocks of text and I want to add an image as well so I'm going to switch to my finder. I'm going to grab my logo here and drop that into the page. And so we've just got some content added, some dummy content for the page. Now let's preview that. And here we see it in the alpha theme, the default theme that comes up here and so that's looking just fine. I'll switch back to edit mode and I want to add a second blocks page to my site and so I'm going to do that here by selecting blocks and I'll just call this page 2. We can see that it is back to the default um, settings in the block inspector. We've got the width of 500 and 700 pixels but I would like this page to um, basically mirror the home page exactly even with the content and so what I will do is I will um, use the home page as a master page and um, that will bring in all of the settings and subscribe this second page to the home page and to do that I go to the top of the page tab here and there is an option for use a master page so I'm going to check that box I'm going to drop down the menu here and select the home page to be the master page for my page 2 here and automatically when I do that we can see behind the block inspector that the width and the height have changed and the content has been added to the page. So I'm going to close the block inspector and when I select a block of text here I see a red dotted line going around the block. This means that this block has been added to the master page and that this um, page 2 is subscribing to that master um, and incorporating this content that's added to that master page. And so these blocks are going to be set in this position and this height and this width if I were to try to drag the block around it wouldn't let me do that and we don't see the handles on the sides of the block because we're not able to resize the block so it's um, so this is basically a, a template for content um, that enables us to make each page look the same now I can definitely uh, modify the content of the block I could take this text out or I could delete all the text and add new text but the size of the block and the dimensions are going to remain the same likewise with the image I cannot um, delete that I cannot drag that around reposition it resize it but I can place another image in there so if I want to switch to finder I can grab this other version of my logo here that's black and white and simply drag and drop that onto the image that is um, already added to the page and so when I drop that in it's updated with the black and white version and so this block is going to be the, the set dimensions and positioning but I can add different images here to replace the um, the original of course if you are going to add an image you need it to be the same dimensions and if it's not then blocks will automatically resize that image to fit in the size of this image block that's specified by the master page and so let's preview this page so we see the changes. This, uh, par this uh, paragraph of text has been sh shortened and we have the gray version of the logo. If I switch back to the home page, we see the same layout but the content has changed a bit. And so we can achieve the same layout easily by simply subscribing the uh, corresponding pages to, the, to whatever master page we select. So let's do that again. Go back to edit and we'll add a new page, another blocks page, and we'll just call that page 3 and let's open up the inspector and let's say use a master page 
Once again, I'm going to choose the home page, although I could choose page two. So let's choose home. Once again, our settings are back, but let's say I don't want the height to be exactly the same. So I'm going to uncheck the use master page height setting, and now I'm able to adjust the height here. So let's say I want that to be 600 pixels. I can do that. If I were to use the master page height, these options would be grayed out below. So you see the width and the height are both grayed out because I've selected to use both the width and the height of the master. If I unchecked both of these, both options would be available for me to modify. So I'm going to use the width, but I'm going to set the height to 600 so that I can add a bit more content below. So let's do that. Let's just add another text block, and I'll bring that down. Just make a narrow block of text here at the bottom. And I'll just grab this last paragraph out of this block and paste it in here. And so if we preview that, we can see that added block of text here at the bottom, whereas on page 2, it's a bit shorter and that won't fit, and then the home page as well. And so we can um, modify the content on a per page basis, but still maintain the same layout simply by subscribing each page to the master page, whatever you choose that to be. For me, it makes the most sense and it's just easy enough to select to make my home page the basic template and then from there make the other pages subscribe to it as the master. Now important thing to recognize is this should not be confused with the master styles in Rapid Weaver for the theme. If we go to the page info and look at the styles here, the width here, the sidebar, the colors, um, these are all separate from the blocks plugin and these are defined here and um, in this and if you've uh, viewed the tutorials for setting the master styles and, and applying the master styles to the other pages then you'll you'll remember that you you do that here with the drop down um, to set a master style which I've already done so it's grayed out this is um, this home page is the master style and then the other pages um, that I've added afterwards are, are subscribing um, to that and so um, it's important to note that these are two separate things um, using the master page feature of blocks does not set all of the pages to use these theme variations you, you still need to use um, to use the master style um, feature in the page inspector to, um, to get the theme variations to look the way they do but as far as the blocks content is concerned that is where the blocks master page comes into effect and it's a useful tool um, in, in cases where you want to maintain a uh, consistent layout for your content throughout the site and so with that um, you might find some uh, good uses for the master page and uh, that will conclude this tutorial